Oh, oh, there you are. Mmm. Hey, baby. Hello. You ready to... Happy vacation. Happy vacation to you, too. Happy spring break. Cheers. We love education because... Sipping our homemade orange oh. juice from oh. the vendor. Freshly squeezed. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Freshly squeezed. Oop. I'm definitely not an English teacher. No, for sure. And um, one great thing about education is that we get lots of time off. May not be getting very rich, but we get rich in experiences. So now is our April trip. It's the last week off that we have before uh, the summer break. It's called the Tomb Sweep Holiday in China. And the, all the people go back to visit their ancestors' graves. And that's why we get the week off. Pretty knowledgeable. That's right. It's amazing. But happy spring break to us. Yeah, I'm always learning new things from my wife. It's so good. So yeah, so where are we off to, sweetie? We are headed to Macau. It's Friday night. We took off straight from work and we're gonna spend the night in Macau on the strip and I'm gonna first for the first time see something that looks like Vegas. I've never been to Vegas. Ground zero. We're staying at the Sheraton. And it's the uh, largest share to in the world, I believe. Wow, it's hard to believe. I think I read that right. I may be wrong. So we're there for mm -hmm. one night, just one 24 night hours. And, oh, are we even going to sleep then? Or are we just going to stay up? We're going to be gambling, going crazy? Yeah, you know me. And then... <laughs> On uh, that teacher's salary. We've got right. a lot to... A lot to gamble with. Yeah. And then tomorrow night we fly to Hanoi. And we'll be in mm -hmm. Hanoi and Halong Bay on a boat. For uh, just for a week, we'll fly back next Saturday night. Well, we're glad you're along. We wish we had one of these for you, but sorry. Can I have yours, please? No, no, no. Oh, I want it. I want it. <laughs> All right, enjoy. Bye Cheers. for now.
Okay, thanks for watching um, our video clips. Uh, we were there for only about 16 hours, so we only had time for the casino area, plus my sweetie right here. She had never seen that, so I wanted to make that a priority. Um, and I got addicted to watching blackjack and watching the uh, the betters put down ten a hundred thousand Hong oh my Kong gosh. dollar I chips. I was thinking you're gonna start throwing some cash down. They were massive chips. Math major right here, and that's I was, like ten thousand U.S. dollars on one bet. It was crazy. Okay, so just a quick summary on uh, on Macau. Um, I've been to Las Vegas many times on conventions connected with work and to compare them there a lot of the same hotel owners have a presence uh, the major ones that are in Vegas have a presence down in Macau um, the difference is that believe it or not it's a more wholesome type of environment it's safer wholesome gambling and, yeah, wholesome gambling. And there's less, and what I mean by wholesome, there's less drinking and partying going on. We didn't actually see anyone drinking. No, and we couldn't show you any Red of the... Red Bull. That's right, Red Bull. But we couldn't show you any of the tables because cameras just aren't allowed there. But um, at the tables, there was only water and I think maybe some tea. And that was it throughout... The entire time there, we never saw any alcohol. What am I supposed to do now? <laughs> that was the alarm that tells us we need to get our flight. <laughs> okay. All right. So it was very wholesome. Yeah. So it was compared to Vegas. It's it's wholesome. It's very safe. And um, it's really clean. I don't know if Vegas oh, is clean. It was super Incredibly clean. clean. Yeah. The hotels were really interesting. We spent a lot of time walking through the Parisian, the Venetian, the Wynn, Morpheus, and uh, just the displays were absolutely amazing. They're beautifully kept. The hotel lobbies are uh, just destinations into themse unto themselves, and the artwork and the decorations were amazing, and really it looked quite legit. I've lived in Italy and visited Venice many times, and St. Mark's Square was uh, Pretty convincing. It's also a combination where Western gambling meets Chinese gambling culture. So there are a lot of games at these hotels. The Chinese love to, to gamble. They love numbers in their culture and specific numbers have special meaning in their lives. And they bring all of this with them when they're gambling. They love it and they have special games. Some of them, I don't even know what they are but they're very popular and you'll be surrounded by that. But listen, I don't think we saw any Westerners gambling. Honestly, I don't remember. Yeah, seeing not many. many. Oh, another thing is it's very compact. So in Las Vegas, there's the strip, there's the old town, old Vegas. So getting around can take some time and effort, but here everything is just together it's a short walk around there's not a whole lot of filler and uh, just all killer so and the uh, strip is only a mile from the airport you actually can see the casinos and the hotels when you when you're in the plane taxiing yeah you really uh, can it's, it's amazing we'd love to hear from you if you have any questions of course we didn't get to cover everything uh, please don't hesitate to comment share and um, again we'd really appreciate it uh, if you'd like this material and more like it uh, on our travels we'd love it if you would subscribe please give us a thumbs up and we're just really happy that you came along with us